All right. Uh, how you doing, guys? Hey, gals, if there's some out there. <clears throat> I got a 5010 transmission. This fits the Suburbans in 1960 and the 61401. Um, this is a 5010 transmission. I probably said that. It's basically the same thing as a 5003, which fits the 58 and 59 RJs. Uh, basically, the only difference is, is where the brake housing mounts, the brake uh, band itself. This would be at a 90 rather than this 45 here over the brake shaft. All right, I was cleaning this thing up, <clears throat> and I thought, I'm curious as to how this thing actually works, to tell you the truth. So I, I bolted the sides together with the guts in it, um, and it is a part the same dimensions that it would be with the casting and the gasket. So it's about six, six inches and a sixteenth to an eighth apart right now. And you can see everything's pretty, pretty tight in here. Um, it's not pinching because I can turn everything. Okay, but if you if you get it any tighter, like if you didn't use the gaskets, you might pinch on the bearings and stuff, and and these things won't turn them. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. These, what's not, what you're not going to see is right here. That's where the fork gear comes in for the shifter. The forks go on here, and then there's a reverse idler that sits underneath here that rides on this gear. And when you come down into reverse, you hit that reverse idler hitting this one with this one, which turns everything in reverse then. Other than that, it's straightforward when these go on. This is your second and third slider. This is your first and reverse slider. So if I slide this up here, I'm in first. If I slide this here, I'm in second. And if I slide, and I'll notice down here on the, on the input shaft, that sits down on there like that. That's third. If you got a load and you're popping out a third gear, this and what's inside this gear is probably what's worn and it's popping out on you. That's what's happening. So as far as troubleshooting, hopefully we can answer some of those questions too today and get that straightened out. Uh, this here is your <coughs> 1144 tooth gear. This is your, in this case, we're going to call it your bull gear differential housing. It's got your pinions in it. Notice that they're opposite directions. Same thing on the other side of this. They're pinned with shafts. And you can grab the axles and spin that, and it goes opposite directions. And that's what you should have. And if it spins nice, nice and loose, no problem. Okay? A little bit, but not bad. Needs to be run. <clears throat> All right. This thing was like, it was froze up actually. It had, um, not from rust. But the oil and it was all dried up and gummy and it was like dried up STP on everything and you couldn't turn nothing you had to take it all apart brake drum cleaner every you know mineral spirits everything to get the thing cleaned out but it cleaned up pretty nice okay so when you're in neutral and you're idling this gear doesn't turn actually none of this does and I'm going to hold this here so it's, you can see that. And this should be in counterclockwise. Duh. Come on, sweetheart. Fight me. Counterclockwise. And what spins is your input shaft, your cluster gear, and your reverse idler would be attached with the, into this gear here. And that would be spinning also. So that's all that would be spinning if you were in neutral which is why you can stop, put your feet on the ground, and everything else. Okay, if I put this into third, right here, this is still in neutral. What happens is this gear here, this pinion, is spleened. It's part of this, it sits on this spleen. That connects with this idler back here, which has a, a woodruff key in it. That keyed all the way down, and there's a gear underneath here next to this one. 
those are both keyed so the power comes from here to here to here down here turns this turns that and that's how that works I can do this let, let me try this I don't know okay that's third gear now if I go to second I'm shifting that shifter over and moving this up to here all right now we're in second gear I'm still in neutral on this one Oop. that's the easiest thing to do here okay so if I put that in neutral bring my shifter up to me and go to first I'm going to slide that in there like that so this is in neutral not doing nothing this is engaged in this gear which is still pinned here here that's how all that drivetrain works on this thing and I think we can see that it goes a lot slower All right, and that's how that works. Now for reverse, like I say, there's a gear that sits down underneath here that's it's, it's pinned inside the casting. And it rides on this gear all the time. And when you come down, you, inter, you engage that reverse idler and it would spin everything in the opposite direction. So you know, right now it'll spin because that gear's not here. But what would happen is it would actually turn this the other way and and make the transmission go this way like this was going counter or clockwise instead of counterclockwise and that's pretty much it that's how it works um, <clears throat> neutral is between these that's about all there is to it to tell you the truth So if you got some noises in there, you can kind of look at this and see what it might be. If you're popping out of third gear, it's probably here. Um, if the pinions are in wrong, you won't be able to turn this opposite directions. Um, if you broke a tooth or something, and here's, here's where the teeth break. It's on this gear, which is the older gear, which has 31 teeth. This is the newer one. This has got the um, the needle bearing in the brake shaft here instead of the I think 5019 or 5003 bearing ball bearing. This has got the needle bearing in it. With the needle bearing came this seven tooth instead of uh, five or six or whatever the heck it is or eleven. I don't know. This is eleven maybe 1144. Seven, and the other one is a 744. So this and this are different with the needle bearing plus you need a different seal and I got all the numbers and everything and I'll post that on the thread for the bearings and and sleeves and everything that I found that I can still get you know so all right any questions nope okay seeing no hands <laughs> um, thanks for taking a look We'll get this posted and start a thread on it. All right. Thanks, guys.